I got my shades on, which can only mean I'm ready for Dolby Vision in this bitch. What's going on, people? It's your boy, Bras Tux in this bitch. You already know. You already know. This review is going to be split up into two parts. I'm going to first talk about the Dolby Vision version, then I'm going to talk about the 4K disc with the HDR. You already know. I love the movie. I thought it was a real laugh. I wasn't expecting it to be as good as it was, uh, but it was. Even from the opening scenes, just like, I am Batman. And he's going through the title, but you guys already know. I did a 3D review on this already, so you should go check that out right here. I leave a little card at the top for you guys to go follow. I expected Dolby Vision to look good on the digital version because it is animation, and I think animation is going to benefit the best from this colour grading, or whatever the fuck you call it. From the very start, the colours look fucking amazing. I had to put this shit out. I had to put my sunglasses on in this bitch. I couldn't believe how bright that bitch was. Go on down. Because of the way the colour is presented in Dolby Vision, it adds more of a 3D effect and depth to that bitch. Batman himself looking three-dimensional. Robin's ass looking three-dimensional in this bitch. What Dolby Vision does is, with animated, especially with animated, is it just adds a little bit more pop and more variation to some of the colours. Like, I'll give you an example. So you got Wonder Woman in there. Just the blue that she has on, it's just slightly more pronounced. Do you know what I mean? And there's slightly more tint, there's slightly more... When light hits, there's slightly more expansion in the colour. When light is reflecting off Batman, it's more vivid. Dolby Vision makes a big impact. Is it night and day from uh, the, the 4K Blu-ray disc? No, it's not night and day but you'll notice it. I'd say Dolby Vision is the best way to watch animated movies on 4K Blu-ray, even though it looks great. And the sound, the Atmos track, is also great. Here is where the voodoo version loses out. Like I said, there is depth. The colour definitely gives it more depth, but there's pixelation like a motherfucker. I got 110 megabyte download speed. My friend's got 220 megabyte download speed. Internet streaming is not a problem at all. That being said, you notice imperfections very, very easily. Fast movement, uh, some explosions. When shit really hits the fan in this, you'll see pixelation, you know, blurred motion. Whereas on the 4K Blu-ray, everything's very distinctive. When things are moving, you see the bitch moving. When Wonder Woman moving in this bitch, you see her fine Lego ass move from A to B. God damn. So my thoughts is that Dolby Vision is the way to go with 4K Blu-ray with animation specifically. Night or day difference, with animation, there is a noticeable difference. But that bitch needs to be on 4K Blu-ray 100%. And the HDR on the 4K, well, let's just talk about that. What's going on guys? So if you're wondering, should I pick up that Voodoo Dolby Vision version? Or should I pick up the disc version? Click on that link right there and head on over. I'll give you my thoughts and impressions of the 4K Blu-ray.